There have been a lot of nice updates to the assemblies application in NX 2312. And the first one I want to talk about specifically in this video is if you notice, the layout is a little different. The assembly constraints icon is no longer there. What we have is a gallery that has all of those assembly constraints pulled out and placed in there and it's called position. Now, if I go into the more button, you'll see persistent creek uh, constraint. That's what I'm gonna do. This is kind of like the assembly constraints, right? I have remember constraints and you know all those other constraint tools. But in this case, what I wanna get into specifically are the position constraints, okay? Or my assembly constraints. Now, what I really like about this is when I go into said function, it is just said function. And I admit guilt here that when I used to pick the assemblies constraint, I used to go right into applying the constraints with uh, paying a little bit of attention to what is already selected as far as the tool at the top. And I would get confused. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't want concentric. Um, I wanted to do center or, you know, maybe I wanted a parallel and not a distance, et cetera, et cetera. So now I no longer have to go through that extra step of remembering to change the type of constraint that I want. So this is, I would say, a, a, a huge improvement in productivity. It's a lot quicker. I no longer have to go into a menu and then select what it is I want. I just pick what I want right away. In this case, I want fix. I'm going to fix this and apply it. Next, I want to take and I want to center this block in all positions in this opening over here. So to do that, I'm going to go into center and it's going to be a two to two. Now, mind you, this works just the way that it used to work, except for the menus have been trimmed down. This is now specific to this one function. So I want to take this face, and this face to this face and this face. Notice it moves it into position and I'm going to apply it. This works the way it used to work as well. Meaning if I come up to this component, I need to, you know, I want to pick the top faces and I don't want to try to pick the top face through this hole because then you got to zoom and do all sorts of weird things. But if I come into the component and click it, hold it with mouse button one and drag it, this isn't new. This has been in there. I know some people don't know that it's in there, but this allows you to drag that component into place or near to where you want while the function is active. Any one of these, while any of these constraint functions is active. So now I have the ability to quickly and easily pick the faces that I want and apply it. Now I want to move it again. So I'm just going to click on it with mouse button one and drag it. Now notice it's abiding by the constraints. So this is a very fast way to verify a, what constraints are left. Again, this has been in here for a little while, but I'm just reiterating it, making sure that everybody knows that I can use that function when I'm in the context of these other tools. Okay, so this still is sliding, right? I've got it constrained in multiple directions, just not the last direction, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this face and this face to here to here. And apply it. It is now fixed in space. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into touch. And again, this is going to operate just the way it used to. It's just a lot simpler to see what's going on in the menu. I prefer an axis. So I want to take this axis to this axis here. Notice it reversed it and switched it and moved it into position. Reverse direction is still there. That tool is still around. Now notice it slammed it all the way to the other side. Don't like that. So I'm going to hit my apply. I'm going to grab my component and just drag it out over to here. Okay. If that made it too far away, I can drag it again and put it back. All right. What do I want to do? I want to go into uh, center. There we go. Let me grab it now and drag it. Um, it reset because I canceled out of that menu. And I moved it, just snapped it back because there's no constraint. So I'll take these two faces. And put it into position. 
select OK. So the constraints themselves work just the same. It's just now that the menu is broken up. All of the tools are placed up here as independent tools without having to go into a menu, digging around and looking. You just go right to the constraint type that you want. I love this. I think this is an absolutely wonderful productivity improvement as to the way it used to work. Thank you.